Greetings, Jimmy1985 here. In this video, we will set up and demonstrate the Moog Theremin. Mini. The Theremin is one of the world's first electronic musical instruments. It is played by interacting with two antennas using subtle hand gestures. Each antenna has her own circuit. When you place your hand by the antennas, you create a capacitor, which is part of an oscillator circuit. The waving of your hands changes the properties of the oscillator circuit and thus changes the levels of the pitch or volume. The volume antenna is the horizontal loop on the left. The pitch antenna is the vertical rod on the right. Because the theremin is controlled by hands and has no physical input to know where the notes are, it's considered one of the most difficult instruments to play. This is why the Moog Theremini is different from the others and is an ideal first theremin for the beginner player. The Moog Theremin Mini is a theremin with a sound processor based on an Anamoog synthesizer. This gives it the ability to make many different sounds. It also comes with pitch correction, which gives it the ability to play distinct notes and steps of 22 available musical scales. There are 32 presets of sounds, including the classic theremin sound. There is also an LCD screen that shows you the notes and the preset you are playing. There's a built-in speaker, headphone jack, and left, right audio cable outputs. If you want to play it like a regular theremin, you can keep it at its default preset of the classic theremin and turn the pitch correction off. The theremin has a 3 8 of an inch built-in threaded mount located at the bottom. If there is no stand available, then a small stable or stool can be used. Avoid using metal surfaces as it will interfere with the antennas and could distort the sound in an unwanted way. The theremin's antennas will react to anything that comes near it. First, we must set up our environment so that we can play the theremin without any interference. It should be four feet away from any large metal object, sources of movement besides the player, and from any other electronic devices. Once the theremin's environment is ready, we would need to calibrate it. To calibrate the theremin, press and hold the setup button for five seconds. Then a prompt to calibrate will come up. Press setup to continue. You will then be prompted to step away four feet or 1.5 meters for five seconds so that it can get a reading for the environment surroundings. After five seconds has passed, walk back to the theremin and continue the calibration. Press setup again and it will start calibrating the pitch antenna to read with your hand. It will first ask you to place your hand near the pitch antenna and wait for five seconds. This is to get the position of your hand to determine the high note. After five seconds has passed, press up again and it will prompt you to place your hand away from the pitch antenna. Place your hand to the left of the antenna, somewhere between the speaker in the middle and the beginning of the volume antenna. This will determine the range your hand has to move to play all the different notes. If you want a short range to determine the notes, you can place it closer, although it will be a bit more difficult to get a precise note or tone, whereas if you place it farther away, you have more room to grab more notes. The range of notes that are played in the pitch field can be configured in a separate menu. You can configure the octave range in a separate menu from C0 to C6. It is best to experiment with this several different times to get a better feel for the notes when you're playing. Press setup again and we will be prompted to put our hand near the volume antenna for five seconds. Place your hand near the top of the volume antenna without touching it. This will determine where your hand mutes the sound. After five seconds go by, press setup again and you'll be prompted to move your hand far from the volume antenna. This will determine where your hand signals for the highest or loudest volume. The volume antenna control could be used as an ADSR envelope. A quick drop of the hand goes for a short attack, short release, whereas a long drop of the hand can extend the release time of the note that is being played with the pitch antenna. After that is done, your theremin should be calibrated and you can start making some cool music and sounds.
there are many different ways you can configure the sounds coming out of their menu. You can adjust the massive volume out of the speaker. You could adjust the note range that is being played with the pitch antenna. You can adjust it so that when you step back, it automatically mutes instead of playing the same continuous note. There is even an option to tune the frequency of the A4 note. It is normally set to 440 Hz. The Theremini can act as a MIDI controller as well, where it can control two parameters on your favorite DAW. There are MIDI options you can configure CC numbers and control voltage options if you want to hook up the Theremini to an analog synthesizer. Well, I hope you liked that video of the Moog Thera Mini. It is a fantastic instrument that I love to play and I will incorporate it into my future projects. The Theremin was not the only invention that Leon Theremin came up with. In fact, he came up with a lot of inventions and a lot of discoveries that really changed our world, some of, some of which are still in use today. My next video will go into the life and times of Leon Theremin. Well, thank you for watching. Remember to live for the adventure. This is Jimmy1985 signing off. Bye bye.